Travis Gray! Oh shit! What is up? What is going on, bro? How we doing? There we go, Jesus fucking patch of the gills! I feel like I'm on fucking trial. You know what I mean? State of New York versus Travis Grant, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> this is awesome. Of course, now guys, thank you so much though for having me. I love the city. I love this city. You know what? I love this city because it's one of those cities where you can see something and you don't know how to respond. Okay? Like I was at a Knicks game and the Knicks hit a three-pointer. So I... <laughs> Yo, I've been saying that all week. <laughs> Yo, we suck. I, like, that's not even intended to laugh. People are like, Psh. get the fuck out of here. Not what they did though. So I stood up and I cheered. <laughs> this one guy looked at me. He was like, "Hey, <laughs> sit your honky ass down, <laughs> you white motherfucker." <laughs> you know, it was weird because he was white. <laughs> Like, what are we doing here, you know? This is so odd, I'm just not used to people being like, right fucking here. It's like, you know what I mean? It's great. I'm just saying, if you're racist, know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Okay, another example, I was in a deli, these two Jewish women were arguing, one of the women's houses just got robbed. She was like, I already know who it was, it was the blacks. Okay, I knew it right when Harold texted me when I was at the Yankee game. I was like, okay, first off, that's racist, and second off, I know you're lying, because Jews only like the Mets. <laughs> These are facts. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. I'm 28. I'm 28. I'm living in New York. 28. And I'm starting to do things, weird things I wouldn't normally do. I guess I'm getting older. I don't care. You know? Like I ate a 7-Eleven burrito sober on a Tuesday. <laughs> you know, that's something a sociopath would do. <laughs> You know what I like about getting older is you see all the celebrities you grew up with also get older. Anybody remember Haley Joe Osmond? <laughs> oh, don't, don't clap. <laughs> I saw him on TV, he was on a commercial or whatever, and I was with my little cousin, she doesn't remember who he was. And she was like, ew, who's that? And I had to stick up for him, I was like, listen, if you saw him when he was 12, you totally fuck him. <laughs> I had a prime, am I right? Like, came forward. <laughs> I remember when I first learned about uh, pedophilia, I was a little kid. And, you know, <laughs> oh, I learned about it uh, right fucking now. <laughs> I remember the, the, the school that I went to, uh, the school that I went to did a mock pedophile drill. <laughs> That's for real, yeah, I know, I'll explain it. The principal would go on the loudspeaker, he'd be like, attention students, attention students, Mr. Jones has now entered the building. Okay, Mr. Jones has now entered the building. And we'd all have to run, and we have to hide under the desks until the drill was over. I just remember all looking at each other like, well, he can't fuck all of us. <laughs> You know, Tim was close to the door. Tim's getting fucked. <laughs> There's nothing to do about Tim. There's nothing to do about Tim. <laughs> I'm trying to find new shows to watch. That's what I'm doing in my life. I, started, I can't find any new ones, so I started watching old ones. I started watching the show Pimp My Ride. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> I can't watch it for too long though, because the exhibit comes out of nowhere. He's just like, hey yo! yo! We just hooked you up! Just paint your car sparkly blue! Put a vending machine in a gerbil cage in the back seat! That thing says you ruined my fucking car. It sucks now. 
everything's better than finding Bigfoot. I'm sorry, I'm done the show. And I'm not on board. I'm just not. How long have you been looking for Bigfoot? Hasn't it been like 80 years? You don't think we would've found him by now? So my friend was lost in Cancun, drunk with no shoes. We found him in 20 minutes. <laughs> I tried getting into politics. I'm not a politics guy. I'm just not. Like, the first time I voted for something was this past election, and my mom felt she needed to come with me, which is a terrible idea. <laughs> so bad. I really, like, right when we got there, she's like, this is his first time! He doesn't know what he's doing yet! We give him the space that he needs! They were like, is he retarded? <laughs> oh man, I, I started thinking if I did cooler things, would my life that would make me feel better? I went skydiving. Anybody ever go skydiving before? Woo! Yeah. There we go. We got a few. If, if you haven't gone, don't rely on the instructor to make you feel any better about anything at all. <laughs> I, I, it's, they, so they send you up 10,000 feet right before I'm about to jump. The guy's like, hey man, I'll give you a lot of credit. Not everyone's got the guts for this. <laughs> yes. And I was like, all right, thank you, man. He's like, are you ready to make some of the greatest memories? <laughs> of your entire life? <laughs> I was like, yeah, all right, let's do it. He's like, all right, so just bend over and buckle yourself into my thighs. <laughs> it's not gay if you don't push back. I was like, what? Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I should have asked him more of an in-depth background search, so like, uh, hey, are you married? <laughs> you know, how's your marriage going? <laughs> Last thing I need to be is jumping out of a plane with someone, and then out of nowhere, he's just like, she took everything! <laughs> Like I said, I'm getting old, I'm trying new things now. You know, I've, I've been getting massaged. You know, but I don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a real salon, so I spend like twenty dollars at nail salons. I don't give a, a fuck. It feels phenomenal. I went there today. Nobody was working there uh, except for this guy, James. And I had to get my back massaged by a man. It was, yeah, it was. And it was like the whole time I was trying to seem manly with it, I was just, but he started working his hell out. I was just screaming out manly shit, so maybe. I was just like, oh yeah, work the shoulders, I gotta go hunting with the boys. <laughs> And he started working up to the ears, and I was like, oh yeah, just, I shouldn't have played basketball for like three hours. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then he just went to the bathroom, you know, and then, you know, this other woman came and started massaging my back. I was like, you were here the whole time? I was like, you had fucking James in there rubbing me down. She was like, who's James? I was like, oh. You look like you work for a funeral hall. Like, what's going on? Here? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is a separate party, y'all. 
I got a, uh, I got a girlfriend now. I got a girlfriend. She deals with all of this. She's great. You know what I mean? Like I love about it. We can talk about anything. That's my favorite part of my girlfriend. You know, like her ex-boyfriend came to the conversation. I was like, yeah, what an idiot. Look what he threw away. She's like, yeah, I always hated him. I'm like, yeah, douchebag. She's like, yeah, asshole. I'm like, yeah, small dick loser. She's like, good. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much, friends. Travis Grant, make some noise for that man right there.